So it's your boy Downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This one right here is a follow up to that live that uh, Greyhound and I just did on his channel. Um, and to answer the question concerning my OG, the homie floater, um, Benny Hernandez, rest in peace. What happened with floater, why floater was hit was because of his brother, RJ. The people who politicked against floater did so because of RJ and all of them had their own separate individual reasons why. Of course, at the time there was a power struggle because RJ had just got sent out of state and it couldn't have been a worse climate having those people out there at the time, especially from Dupa Villa that were out there. Um, and then at that point with Crow getting out because he was he was very influential and instrumental prior to him walking out when he did because it was known that he was coming out. The stage was being set for all that. DOC, law enforcement, they're partly responsible for all of it. But I know that uh, floater was politicked against. I know why, but I can't speak to it. As has been said time and time again, I'm named as a suspect in the affidavit for the wiretap in that case. I'm still suspect or subject to prosecution in all of it. In spite of all of the contradictory evidence It don't matter. Um, as far as the details of the murder, there is a police report, obviously. Coroner's reports, all that, obviously. Um, but to the best of my recollection, there has been suspects named in that um, um in that double homicide right there. Because it wasn't just a floater. It was his wife, Carol, rest in peace, who was killed also. Um, but like I said, the motives behind the hit were personal. And it was all because of RJ. Now, you have to understand something that we've all done a lot of wrong. We've all done a lot of cutthroat, backstabbing shit. Um in spite of what, you know, we would all like to believe about ourselves. The fact of the matter is that RJ made a fatal, fatal mistake in Floater's case when he actually made him, went in as he did, because those of us who've been around and those of us who know, know that Floater stayed under the radar and put in a lot of work. He put in more work than most Carnales before he was even made. And, and he was able to roam the yards and bulldog and do shit that he did. And, you know, people not like him because of RJ, you know, and, you know, it's not like you know, taking anything at all from Floater. He could fucking fight. He'll knock a motherfucker out. He'll stab a motherfucker. He put in his work. He did his dirt. And Greyhound's going to profile, you know, uh, 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 Floater and RJ. But, um, you know, I have a different take on it all. I mean, I have that, that, that honor and respect as well. But when it comes to the, re the reflections of that, of that, of that fucking cesspool, you know, it's a swamp, you know, I know what it breeds, but once, okay, it, you must understand something that you couldn't hit a member who wasn't made, like, it, it, Floater was off limits because he wasn't made, couldn't touch him. You know what I mean? Like, 
That's, that's, that, we all know that. We all understand that. So when he got made, there was people already, there was Carnales already plotting on him. I'm not, I'm not going to name names, but I think everyone could imagine who it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, that would be plotting against Rick in that fashion. Because it's noted, there's people that know that, um, that when Crow got out, he was, he was talking mad shit about Ricky. It's not a secret that, that the lines were pushed as they were once he got sent out of state. It's what, it's what, it's what the law enforcement had hoped for, divide and conquer. And as soon as they went out of state, trust me, Graham and I were out here when it happened. Graham got out before I did. So, you know, that's just, that's just what I can speak about that. Because like I said, and I said, I'll continue to repeat this, you know, I'm subject to the death penalty and all that. You know, in spite of all of the contradictory evidence there is in the case concerning myself, it's contradictory. It's reasonable doubt, to say the least. But um, it's neither here nor there in this day and age. I'm only here to answer the question as best as I can, having been there and having the insights that I do. But like I said, I'll leave the, you know, Greyhound's going to do the, the, the memorial pieces on them, the, you know what I mean? Uh, and I'm going to try to get some pictures of them for that, you know what I mean? You could get, do, do, do a good piece on, do some good pieces on them, you know? Some real solid docu documentary type pieces for the homies, you know what I mean? That he can, he can, he can narrate, it'll be dope, you know what I mean? Get the pictures. Um, but yeah, you know, keep this all in mind, man, that there's nothing we can do to bring them back. There's nothing we can do to undo what's been done, the bow that's been rung. And, you know, you heard him speak about what happened with me. You know what I mean? There's nothing that could be done. But, you know, everybody that's watched me this far and that knows me my whole life, you know, you see the struggle that, that I went through to get here behind all the lies that have been spread about me. You know what I mean? But we're here to tell the truth as best as we can because, you know, ain't nobody trying to die on the road, bro. You know, the homies in that right now facing facing death in prison as it is. And, you know, we hope to, we hope to get him out, man. We hope and pray to see him come home. You know what I mean? So free Greyhound, rest in peace to Floater, rest in peace to RJ, rest in peace to all the homies who lost their lives behind all this bullshit, man. Peace and I'm out.